lesbian male. Ah, yeah, I could have guessed that. Late 20s, early 30s, all right. About the age of Dick Grayson as Nightwing. And he's going to be a cop. What's up? Is that back? Because I've been dying for that to come back. What's up? It's Ryder here. How's your day been? How is it going? First day of summer. Hope you're getting some tanning. Hope you're hope you're applying that sunscreen, getting that bug spray on. You know, you don't want to get bit by the mosquitoes. DC is actually kind of just killing it right now. I don't know how. I don't know, you know, where this is coming from, but it's awesome. And more importantly, it's Teen Titan. Teen Titans! Teen Titans. It's a, I guess, a very touchy subject, I'd say, within the DC movies, DC television, DC animation. But of course, something that I think you, yes you, the, the person that's watching this video, and myself are very excited about has been this quote-unquote Teen Titan Titans live action series. Three months ago, when Jeff Johns and DC, they're like, yo, we've got some ideas, son. And then they just dropped this whole thing down where they're like, okay, we're going to be doing this new DC streaming service. Like, okay, what is that? Then they're like, it's going to be coming out during 2018. And by the way, we're going to be headlining with this Teen Titans live action show called Titans. What in the shit is going on? And to be honest, I can't necessarily tell you at this very moment, but I can tell you what I can tell you is about four characters yes i just for some reason i held up a three for a reason but it's four it's four characters that have actually there's descriptions for these or the, at least the actors that they're looking for uh, to play these four characters and i do believe these will be the four members of the teen titans at least in this first season keep in mind that these names that i will be reading off to you they're just kind of uh uh, placeholders, you know, they're they're not trying to reveal too much right now They're just trying to get a description out there All right, so I'm not gonna read you the full big boring description because to be honest It's just it's just a bunch again of mumbo-jumbo. I've pulled out the important details So let's dive into this thing already my god. That was a long intro let's start with our series lead Which they are calling John Crossland. This is presumably going to be Dick Grayson uh, Nightwing the So here's the description. He's gonna be a male. Ah, yeah, I could have guessed that. Late 20s, early 30s, all right. About the age of Dick Grayson as Nightwing. And he is going to be a cop. Now, this is the something that might not seem that familiar to a lot of more just flat-on Teen Titans fans from the early 2000s or even Young Justice fans. But actually... Dick Grayson was a cop during the 90s. He had this different run, they were trying to do something different with him, and he had joined the police force. The way they're going to tell his character they, they're saying is through his eyes. He's going to keep his cool a lot, you know, he's going to be very mellow, unless provoked, in which case he goes apeshit. He'll be a vigilante in the shadows, of course, that's kind of like the whole way Nightwing works. He's going to fight kind of like artistically, you know, he's very, very thought out, kind of, you know, uh, majestically, kind of like a dancer, because we know he has a circus background. He will be fighting to escape his past. Our second one, they're just calling Sarah right now. Uh, and this is presumably going to be Raven. It's almost completely Raven. I'll read you the description, the important parts. She's going to be a female, obviously, in her mid-teens. I like that they're going teens with her. I think that's going to be important. She's going to be troubled, bullied, and very reserved upon her emotions. So she doesn't like to show what she's feeling a lot. Again, very reminiscent of Raven. She hides in her hoodie. Oh, jeez, you've just confirmed it. She's also haunted by the dark forces inside of her. And uh, there, she actually has these attacks or whatever, maybe kind of like seizures, where these dark forces kind of like do things, and she can't control them, she doesn't understand them. She's also having these nightmares, which these nightmares, they're actually leading her across the country to find some help. Uh, and that's presumably what's going to lead her to the rest of the Titans. I really like that. You know, it sounds very interesting. It also sounds to me like they could possibly be setting up Trigon as the main villain. Trigon is Raven's father and this kind of like lord of the, the demons. Our next character is Casey, and this is presumably going to be Starfire. <laughs> She's going to be a female in her 20s. She's going to be tall and beautifully gorgeous. Which that is so Starfire already, you know, tall, beautifully gorgeous. Going to be elegant and mysterious, which is again some some other traits of Starfire. Not really sure 
exactly what she is or where she's coming from at the very beginning. She's on the hunt to discover who's trying to kill her and why that person is trying to kill her. Now the whole like who's trying to kill her, what's trying to kill her, that would go back to Blackfire, her sister, who is very much always out to kill her and destroy her. And uh, that you have a very great opportunity to kind of, you know, actually, you don't have to over-sexualize this character because she's already, part of what makes her herself is already being over-sexualized. So I think that's another opportunity to pursue that. I know that's been a complaint amongst a lot of people in recent years. And our final Titan member is called Jax. And of course, he's not going to really be called Jax, but Beast Boy. This is presumably going to be Beast Boy. He's going to be a male in his mid-teens, a little bit shorter. He's going to be funny and charming and kind of witty all the time, which again, very much Beast Boy. His humor is going to be hiding his insecurities deep down. Another thing that it's very reminiscent of comic Beast Boy. Not going to be that tough, you know, regularly, and he's going to be very much on his own. Now, they don't full out say, oh, he can shift into different animals or whatever. Powers from him are going to be so amazing, and I just love this. So, I really almost hope it's just the four of them. Uh, I would love Wally West Kid Flash from The Flash Show, right? I would, you know, enjoy Barbara Gordon Oracle. I would enjoy a Hawk and Dove. I would enjoy a Terra. But I think these four characters are super compelling, and you can do some amazing stuff with them by themselves. Titans is supposed to come out next summer, and I do believe they will be starting to film kind of late this fall, so keep an eye out for that. Of course, I'll be keeping you guys updated and posted once we get some more information on this. Let me know your thoughts, and thank you so much for watching. Please remember to click. You gotta click that. Like! Please like it! Share it, you know? Hey, it's, it's your friend's birthday. Share this video. It'll be a good time. And of course, subscribe so we can bring up that fan base. We can make some other cool content happen. I'm Ryder signing off with Infinite Attitude. And you bye. Step into the spotlight. Copying with uppers and downers get done. I'm in a rush to be numb. Dropping a thousand.